one-dimensional kinematics with an acceleration of non-zero. Materials. For this experiment, we will need a ramp, a Pasco smart car, something to give the ramp an elevation, and a laptop with the capstone software installed. Setup. In order to begin collecting data, we have to verify that our smart card was turned on and is picked up by the Bluetooth of our laptop. And here it is. We also need to elevate the ramp. So I'm going to stick this underneath. Procedures. When the setup is complete, the laptop is talking to the smart car. The ramp is elevated. We can now take data. Before we take data, I'm going to put up two of the kinematics plots, position, and velocity. I will press record. And I will choose where I will be releasing the car. I am choosing here at the 40 centimeter mark. And I will simply release the car and let it accelerate. And stop collecting data when it reaches the end of the ramp. Analysis. This particular run of data had a lot of information. A lot of holding. Here's the release. There's the acceleration towards the bumper. And there's the bumper. So we will go to a highlighter button. Only choose the data where the cart is accelerating towards the bumper. Do not, it's important to not get collect data that, or highlight data that is during the bumper. Once we highlight the data of interest, we are going to pick a fit, but this time it is not linear. This is clearly a curve. So we are going to pick quadratic. And here we get our constants for our quadratic. When we do the same, highlight the same time frame on velocity, we should be able to see, again, same time frames. Fit a linear fit because this is clearly a line. Here we get an acceleration of 0.472. Here our acceleration term is buried in this term here, but it's one half acceleration times time squared. So this becomes 0.46. Very similar, they are in good agreement. 